Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Nam the Kanu is my brother. I will not deny him. He will join us in PCP once he comes out of detention. That's according to the deputy speaker. Yes, that's Benjamin Kalo. Benjamin Kalo speaking. In Omaya said that he is interested in the beliefs of Mazda Mekano more than any other Igbo person. And he is working hard to ensure that Mazda Mekano is being released from detention. Yes, that's what he said. He said, he is my brother. I won't deny him. We are making frantic efforts to make sure he is being released. We don't want these court processes. Let him be released and join us in the PCP. In the PCP. Yes. Now look at his statement. Quote The PCP has reconciliation in the mix of what we are trying to achieve. We recognize the importance of our brother, Namde Kano, in the peace agenda we are pushing. That's the truth. And I have been very vocal about it. I am not hiding it. I have always told people that I will never deny Namdekanu. He is my brother. We come from the same place. And I will never be happy having him incarcerated when we, have, when we can have him out and increase our pursuit towards peace. But we may not advance all the things we are doing back door. But I can assure you that all the powers that be in this country know the people like us are not sitting on the fence. I don't know about the next person, but I am talking about Benjamin Okeze Karo. I am not sitting on the fence about it. I am lobbying. We cannot go about this before the court. I am more interested in using a political solution towards resolving this. So I am asking for one or two things from the federal government. The last time I was with, me, with Mr. President, I discussed with Mr. President on the need for the elders of Igbo land to come, sit and engage with him. And I know that one of the topics that will come up there is this, our brother. We will also thank him for all the good things, the appointments he has been given to Igbo people. So while the court is doing what they are doing, I will not truncate legal processes. But some of us are not afraid to identify with him and to ask for him to be released. Any other thing can follow up after that. So that is what is going on at the moment. And those who are close to him will assure you we are working closely on this mandate. Is it achievable? The answer is yes. And I'm happy with the statement that he made the last time he was in court. He said, all those who are causing violence are not IPOB people. That anybody who is using his name to be causing violence is a hater of Ndibo. Look, Igbos are not known for violence. We are known for trade, being creative, call it Nollywood, we are the engine room that started the creative industry. We are not thieves, not known for violence. We put our energy towards creating wealth. End of quote. Yes. This is a statement of the Deputy Speaker. Yes, from Abia States, Deputy Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, in Fomabia State, and he's talking about the illegal incarceration of Mazam Kalu. He said, Look, he's not asking for, he's not interested in the court processes. He wants Mazam Kalu to be released unconditionally. Yes, political solution, he said. All right, but he said, If he's out, they will engage him in terms of peace, building peace. And we are laughing in. I don't know how to make this laugh because um, are you engaging Mazam Kano that you will pay him or that you will you know give him remuneration, you know? So uh, uh, this is uh, you know funny and it's laughable. So we are talking about the unconditional release of Mazam Kano. So not about uh, Nigerian government engaging him for peace building. If you want to make him, you know, because of course you know that in Nigeria there's no peace. 
So they want to engage Mazan Khan to make peace in Nigeria. Between who and who? Is it between the Hausa Fulani? The Hausas and the Fulanis? Because they're not in peace. Is it between the Juku and the, the thieves? Is it between the, the minorities in the northern region and the Hausas and the Fulanis? Or is it between the, the Yorubas and the Igbos? Or is it between the Joss and the Yorubas? Or is it between the southern Nigeria and northern Nigeria? So which one? So they say they will engage you for peace building once it's come out in their PCP. This is the latest. To engage Mazinam Kano to build peace in Nigeria once it's, once, once it's come out. That is what the fragment is proposing. And that is maybe that is the condition for its release. That's according to one of the you know the agents of the federal government. The agent of the federal government in the southeast, about uh, Benjamin, he said he will not deny his brother. He is still his brother, so from the same state, from the same, uh, you know, constituency. So he will speak of he will speak on his behalf and talk about him. So he's not hiding it. If there's anybody who is working for his police, said uh, him, okay, Benjamin Ibazin is working. Tirelessly to ensure my friends Oh yes, they say they want to engage him, give him job. Maybe he's jobless. That is arrant nonsense. Mazen Namdekan is not looking for your peace, uh, you know, job. Okay. Indeed, if there's anything, if there's anybody that's supposed to be given the Nobel Prize for Peace, it is Mazen Namdekan, because what he's doing. For Biafrans to have their referendum, freedom, for Nigerians to ask themselves certain questions and those who want to go, go, is the best way to create peace. You want to engage you for peace, we're going to have peace. He have told you the best way for peace to come. Allow Biafrans to go. Okay? Conduct referendum. Then let others who have the interest of having their separate ways, allow them to go. These killings will stop. These uh, ethnic tensions and whatever, they will stop, they will cease. They, they, Massacring of persons will stop. Okay, these uh, you know, you know, killings, maiming, kidnapping, crisis here and there, tensions escalating, escalating everywhere. Okay, these things will stop. This uprising will stop. So, that is the best peace package. Onyende has given to them, but they don't want it.